What is up guys? We are here today with another Let's Build tutorial. Now the reason I haven't been uploading recently is because the quarter has recently ended in my high school year and um, you know how it is when the quarters are ending, there's finals, lots of last minute studying, lots of homework and just a whole bunch of craziness going on. So now that that's over and it's a new quarter, you know, there's less hype and stuff like that, I should be able to upload more. So once again, sorry for the lack of uploads. Now in this video, I will be showing you how to make an amazing man cannon. Um, this model was made by Rage Gaming Videos, so if you guys want to check out his channel, a link for that will be in the description. He made this in his uh, one of his quick build challenges versus a Minecrafter. He does a lot of those, which are pretty interesting. So if you guys want to check that out, link will be in the description. Now, what you're gonna need for this, let's build is block of iron, sign, TNT, glowstone, water bucket, a button, redstone, and a redstone repeater. Now, if you are planning to do this in survival, you will need full set of iron armor or the blast will just obliterate you from the TNT. And also you're going to want to have a pool of water around this area so that when you fall back down you can land safely in the water. So now we'll get our items out from this chest. And almost there. And let's start building. So get out your iron block and the first thing you want to do is Let's uh, get a distance safely away from these other two. So I'm going to count like seven blocks or so. I think that's about right. Yep, okay. Now what you want to do is get your iron block and create a 5x5 five five square on the floor like this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2, 3, 4, 5. And now you want to fill in this dirt layer with iron as well. So break all those blocks and fill it in with iron. Now the reason you have to fill in the bottom part with iron is because the dirt might explode and it might screw up your cannon. And now the next thing you want to do is make another layer of this. So do that real quick. And there you go, you're done. And in the middle place two blocks exactly like this. Now get your water bucket and place a water in each corner of the square exactly like that so the whole thing is filled. Now what you want to do is get your redstone and make a ring all the way around the iron like this. And delete the one right there so that you can place an iron block. Now if you put a button there you notice that the signal goes all the way through and you're set for the bottom part. Now the next thing you want to do is get out your iron block again, place two blocks, put another redstone and a repeater. Exactly like that, no ticks, just leave it how it is. Now get out your glowstone and make a staircase like this. Now the reason we're using glowstone is because glowstone is the only block in Minecraft that can send an electrical signal up using redstone. And I'm pretty sure at least, uh, over, you know, my Minecraft years, glowstone seems to be the only block that sends a signal up. So we'll use more copper, or not copper, <laughs> where did I get copper from? Glowstone to get to the top and place one more right there. And so now you should have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks of glowstone in a staircase zigzag pattern exactly like this. Now you want to get out your iron again, place a block there, another block there, another one there, another one there, delete that one beneath it exactly like that. Go two blocks over right from there. One block, up a block, over a block, and then over a block again. And now we're going to fill in the rest of the t uh, redstone. We're going to put a repeater right here. And that one is just set by itself as well. No ticks, just leave it how it is. And then you're going to place another redstone right there and a repeater right here. Now this one you're going to want to put tick all the way to four exactly like that. So all the way over. And now you want to get out your iron again and build the second layer. So put another block right here 
go out three, one, two, three, and then three on the other side as well. One, two, three. So you now have a total of seven blocks along the top. Now this is a seven by seven square, so you're gonna go two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then fill in this line right there. And now you've got a seven by seven square exactly like that. Now you want to go two layers down, just like that, and then fill in the rest with iron blocks, which doesn't take too long, unless you mess up like I just did there. Okay, so we're almost there, and oh, there we go. And now you're going to fill in the bottom part with iron as well. So you have like a floor, yeah, a floor on the bottom, just like that. And now you want to stand on your iron block in the middle right here, look directly up and delete that block, this block, that block, and that block. So now you got like a Tetris sort of piece right here, and you want to go to place a sign right there, right here in the middle and once again right there now the reason I don't delete this block and make it like a perfect like cross is because if I deleted this block and placed a sign right here the water could still leak through the middle and we don't want that so place a block and a sign like that so it's like a T now you want to go back up to the top and place a water bucket in each corner like we did on the bottom and now as you can see the water doesn't leak through now you want to get out your redstone again and just make a whole entire ring around the iron exactly like that and there you go you're done it's a very simple build and it is really really amazing so we're gonna test it out right now um, to see how it works and trust me guys you will not be disappointed so fill in that layer with TNT and the top layer with TNT okay there we go now we've got it all loaded and ready to go so stand in the middle line yourself up just right so you won't bang your head into the top which would kill you <laughs> and then right in the middle press the button and wait for the epicness Explosion 2 explosion and you go flying way high up. And to show you that this does work every time, I will do it on this one as well. So we'll go right in the middle, like this, press the button, and wait for the explosion. Boom! There you go. So it does work every time. Once in a while, um, it will go higher than the other turns, but you know, that doesn't matter. You still go pretty darn high up. And so there we go. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Once again, go check out Rage Gaming videos for um, his cool channel where he built this. And um, this has been me, Fearless Gaming 27, and I am out.